After completing the step one general assignment information, click the little drop down menu, green arrow, next to the step two online assignments options. The step two online assignment options cover specific elements or settings that you may want to consider when creating an online test format assignment. Test review. Students can view their test. There's a drop down arrow with several options. First, by default, as soon as the due date passes and it is fully graded, immediately after each attempt, as soon as they turn it in, as soon as it is fully graded, as soon as the due date passes, or never. I'm going to leave the default setting. Show students the correct answers to missed questions. Looking at the drop-down box, you have three options. By default, only after the due date is selected. You also can select any time they can review the test or never. Turn off all test review access after. You can add a date manually or use the calendar icon feature and select the date. You can also set the hour, minutes, a.m. or p.m. You can also set a time limit. Enter the time based on minutes, hours, or days. If you do not want to use a time limit, leave blank for no time limit. Pagination refers to how you want the test questions to be displayed when the student is taking the exam. There are several options. Select the option that best fits your test assignment. Section order. You can shuffle the sections, creating a random order for each student. Check the box. Lockout. You can lock out students if they leave the test screen. Otherwise, if you do not check this, they can return to an interrupted attempt and keep working. Also, extra credit can be added as a setting. Security, add the password, and that is the password students must enter to access the test. This LMS has a Genzabar lockdown browser for testing. This browser locks down the test environment ensuring that the students cannot take screenshots, copy, paste, print, view other websites, or use other applications like Instant Messenger or email while taking the test. Should you choose to use this setting, check the box. The last setting under security require the Genzabar lockdown browser for reviewing a completed test. Again, if you choose that option, simply click the checkbox. Retakes, the last option, the settings allow you to give students the opportunity to retake the test. Click the drop down menu arrow and select the appropriate number of times that a student can retake the test after their first attempt. Retake waiting period. After the first test has been submitted, you can add a waiting period before the student can make a second or third attempt. Add the time based on minutes, hours, or days. Another setting, show in progress grade updates. This allows students to see their current grade recalculated after each attempt. Otherwise, they will not see a grade until after the test has been turned in as per the settings above. This setting is only meaningful if your entire test is scored automatically. The last option, when taken more than one time, the final grade for this assignment should be the, click the drop down arrow, you have three options, average of all grades received, highest grade received, or the last grade received. We have completed the step two settings for an online test format assignment. The next video in series will cover step three, the instructions and files.